All right, it's time for the glitz, the glamour, and the tea in Hollywood. Renee is here to reveal all of the latest headlines about your favorite stars. Good morning, Renee. And who is that behind you? Oh, I wish I could well, hear you. Well, Wolfie's going to be here today. Yeah. I know, no Wolfie today, but this is my brand new assistant. She just started this week. This is Kaylee, everyone. Hi, hey, Kaylee. Kaylee. Oh, I'll tell you how she likes her coffee later. <laughs> <laughs> Well, welcome, Kaylee. Um, Renee, Tom Cruise showed up at the Miami Grand Prix, and there's some rumors swirling over who he was with and standing beside in these pictures. This is a story that is trending. It is trending all over the place. Shakira, Shakira, and Tom <laughs> Cruise. She even had her kids there with him. They were seen holding hands. They were together the entire day. They had bodyguards around them. Talk about a couple you couldn't see from a mile down the road. Right? Who knows? You yeah. can see them whenever, wherever. They're meant to be together. Hello, and thank you very much. <laughs> I'm giving you a high five from here. That was amazing. Thank you. All right, what does uh, Tom Hanks think he should be the next James Bond? Or who does he think should be the next James Bond? Okay, so you know, right here on Channel 3 this morning, he was with Gail, and he revealed uh, his new book, and that's going to be coming out. And he also dropped a little bit of tea for everybody that he thinks Idris Elba should play the next James Ooh. Bond. And so he is actually starting like a, a movement so that he should be the next James Bond. He thinks that he would be the next best license to kill. So, yeah. Wasn't he like voted sexiest man alive a couple of years ago? Yeah. Yes, yeah. and I think, in, according to my records, he still is. <laughs> <laughs> you are up to date on your records. Yeah, your records are very up to date, Renee. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and how is a viral moment teaching Taylor Swift fans about an acting icon? So I do love Law and Order, and I love Marissa Hargitay. I love her very much, but many of Taylor Swift's young fans don't know that her cat is named after her character on Law and Order. So <laughs> her cat is Olivia Benson, and they didn't realize that because Marissa just actually went to, or Marissa actually just went to a Taylor Swift concert, and that's where it became announced, and now something <laughs> trending on TikTok is called Who's Olivia Benson? And then, you know, Taylor's cat comes up, Mariska comes up, and they're, yeah, they're friends since 2015. That is hysterical. Wow. I always think if I go to a Ringo Starr show again, I'm going to be like, my dog's named after you. Exactly. You should. You should yell at him. <laughs> I think I Tell would. Him. Yeah. All right, why should all of us go check out the video for Alicia Keys' new song? This is incredible. First of all, Alicia Keys is so talented, but the new video for If I Ain't Got You um, has been re-recorded for the Netflix series Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story. She performs with an orchestra made up of more than 70 women of color from around the world. They're all wearing 1700s inspiring gowns. Oh, wow. And it is incredible. If you haven't seen it, please look it up. It is incredible. I see that it's trending all yes, over. So I see, we're yeah. going to have to go back and Absolutely. watch that. Absolutely. Okay. And what is going on with Britney Spears' autobiography? Also, God bless Britney Spears. I don't know what's happening there, but I wish her the very best. But they just put her book on hold because some very big A-listers are like, no, 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 Britney. That's not getting printed. So. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Was it toxic? Does she have? It's very, <laughs> it's very toxic. Her book deal is worth as much as $15 million. What? And usually a tell-all book will let you print, you know, print whatever your facts are. But they're sure. finding a lot of trouble with the facts and the truth and these a-listers are like no Whoa. we're not printing this book I so wow. we'll see what that happens does she have any dirt on wolfie <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say i was gonna say justin timberlake but, oh well, I mean, okay you there know. you go all right well thanks jared, Renee. jared leto was in there jared, oh, leto, was jared leto. leto remember when they dated for a hot second huh? or went to some award show together i think yeah, and Colin Farrell and all that. Oh, yeah. Colin Farrell, yeah. All um, right. Well, well, I hope I hope it gets published. Well, your assistant <laughs> did a great job today. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Kaylee. <laughs> nice to meet you.